from the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC. This is NCC Digital Signature. You are welcome to this week's edition of NCC Digital Signature, brought to you by the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. This program is designed to educate, inform, and enlighten you on the trends, issues, and development driving innovation and creativity in the digital world. I am Emuna Ahoyza Zubair. In this edition, we will be enlightening you on the dangers and implications of installation and usage of illegal boosters. Also during the week, Google paid a courtesy visit to the NCC. All these and many more will be brought to you after the news highlights. Guy, what's this device on your desk? It's a GSM network booster. Really? You sure want to go to jail. Are you not aware that the Nigerian Communications Commission has warned the general public, particularly banks and other financial institutions, government agencies, telecom service providers and owners or occupiers of residential premises that the sale, installation and usage of GSM network boosters is illegal? This is to ensure protection of consumers' good quality of service and maintain technical standards of communication equipment. It is a criminal offense to sell install or use any equipment which may hinder network operations or which has not been type approved by the NCC. If you are caught using a GSM network booster, you will be prosecuted. Be warned. In order to achieve the national targets for ubiquitous broadband access in furtherance to Nigeria's digital transformation policy, the Nigerian Communications Commission and Google Global Services Nigeria have expressed determination to work together. The two organizations made the commitment when a delegation from Google Global Services Nigeria paid a courtesy visit to the Commission's head office in Abuja recently to deliberate on viable collaborative interventions to propel digital transformation across the country and Africa. This aligns with and gives expression to NCC's strategic vision plan, centering on strategic stakeholders' partnership to achieve regulatory objectives. Receiving the Google delegation, the Executive Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of NCC, Professor Umar Garba Dambata, represented by the Executive Commissioner of Technical Services, Engineer Ubale Maska, said the Commission's initiatives and vision towards increasing broadband penetration, quality of service, advancements of a digital economy, and commitment to improving national security through technology are at the front burner of its regulatory interventions while underscoring importance of such synergy. Uh, growing some kind of synergy between uh, our plans going forward and what the Commission also has in mind so that if possible that let there be some kind of synergy or a marine of purpose so that uh, uh, we can pull resources to do a lot more than each of us could do individually. The EVC expressed optimism that Google's investment in the subsea cable Equiano, which is expected to land in Nigeria by end of April 2022, will be more impactful in driving NCC's ongoing implementation of the Nigerian National Broadband Plan 2020 to 2025. In her remarks, the country manager Google West Africa, Juliet Ehimua, who led the delegation to NCC, commended the Commission for its consultative approach in formulating regulatory policies as engine room for optimal delivery of telecommunication services that will in turn impact the digital economy drive of the government. In the next five years or so, we'll have an additional 300 million internet users coming online in Africa. And a huge part of that would be in Nigeria. And obviously, the NCC is playing a very important role in fueling that growth. Congratulations on the recent uh, auction of uh, the 5G spectrum and all the initiatives around accelerating broadband growth. The Equino cable system is the third private international cable owned by Google and the 14th subsea cable invested by Google. Equino connects Portugal and South Africa, running along the west coast of Africa with branching units along the way that can be used to extend connectivity to more African countries. 
The first branch is expected to land in Nigeria by end of April 2022. The Nigerian Communications Commission has again emphasized the important role that telecommunications consumers in Nigeria have to major in complementing efforts being put in place to ensure effective protection of telecommunications infrastructure. The Commission made this assertion recently at a sensitization program organized at Wanune Taraka local government area of Benue State. According to the Commission, aside from the role of the law enforcement agencies in protecting telecom infrastructure, the consumers who are the subscribers and ultimate users of telecom services have an obligation to do everything to protect telecoms infrastructure in their environment. These include the base transceiver stations, the underground fiber optic cable, as well as associated infrastructure. Addressing the audience at the program, the Director of Zonal Operations of the NCC, Amina Shehu, decried the problem of vandalism caused to telecom infrastructure, which often results in poor quality of service delivery to the end users. You're watching NCC Digital Signature, a program by the Nigerian Communications Commission. The commission is responsible for creating an enabling environment for competition among operators in the industry, as well as ensuring the provision of qualitative and efficient telecommunication services throughout the country. For more information about the commission, follow us on our social media platforms showing on your screen. You're watching NCC Digital Signature, a convergence of digital innovation, creativity, and the world of endless possibilities, brought to you by the NCC. The Nigerian Communication Commission is committed to creating an environment that ensures universal access for very affordable and equitable services for all Nigerians. At this point, we serve you with the answers to our running quiz and the winners. Question one, what is SVP? And the answer is strategic vision plan. Question two, how long is SVP valid for? Mention the years. The answer is five years, 2021 to 2025. Here are the winners of the quiz. Oluremi Ofakuri Akure Undo State. Adewoye Akintayo Aremu, Oshobo Oshun State. Bakare Aminat Mojirade Ibadan Oyo State. For further inquiries, send details to NCC Digital Signature at ncc.gov.ng for further information about the program. Still to come, our story on illegal GSM boosters. Stay tuned. On NCC Digital Signature, we bring you innovation, trends, policies, and stakeholders redefining all sectors of our economy. Here you will see the actors, the policy makers, and creativity that will shape your mind and business for growth in line with today's reality. NCC Digital Signature, in line with today's reality. Now to our top story of the day, illegal GSM boosters. The Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has over the years demonstrated relentless efforts in its regulatory mandate of carrying out enforcement activities aimed at sanitizing the telecom sector of unwholesome practices capable of jeopardizing healthy competition and quality of service. GSM boosters are devices that transmit and receive telecommunication signals. This therefore makes it possible for it to interfere with other telecom signals. The Commission has warned that anyone using them without permission or in conjunction with a licensed telecoms operator commits an offense. For details on this, here is a story. A network booster, sometimes referred to as GSM booster, is a device that is meant to amplify the network strength of a particular network 
It enhances the network signal you are sending and receiving in areas with poor network. This increases browsing, download and upload speeds. The Commission has observed a trend in recent times whereby individuals and organizations in areas with high population density or low network coverage install boosting devices to increase signal strength. GSM boosters or signal boosters are devices that are actually meant to increase the signal level of a GSM where such signals are not very good. Now, <clears throat> for us as regulator, every signal booster is illegal. Every signal booster is illegal. And the reason is very clear. What normally happens is, if you boost the signal of one operator, in the process, you are increasing the noise level for the other operators around. So in that way, you get interference, very bad signal from the others. These unapproved and unauthorized boosters pose a huge challenge to network integrity. This is because illegal boosters interfere with mobile signals, leading to call drops and slow data speed, thereby affecting quality of service and quality of experience of consumers living in such environs. GSM boosters are more like um, um, repeater, repeater devices. Um, the case has been that in some parts of the country, where there seem not to be a network signal or where the signal quality is low, Nigerians have had this um, tendency to resort to purchase of uh, GSM boosters <coughs> to address either the lack of signal or in most situations to improve, to boost, as the name implies, to boost the network, the, the signal quality mm -hmm. such that um, the voice clarity and the ability to place and receive calls are enhanced and the voice quality is uh, improved upon. Uh, however, um, GSM boosters have been found to do more harm than good. And what I meant by that is the fact that um, whereas it attempts to improve the signal quality, However, it causes interference with other um, signals or the, the GSM service. Um, it degrades the quality of service you know, uh, within the, the neighborhood. And it affects last mile quality of consumer quality of experience. The Commission, in line with its regulatory function in February 2022, collaborated with personnel of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and carried out enforcement action on some residential areas in the federal capital territory Abuja on illegal use of GSM boosters. The raid led to the decommissioning of the boosters whose usage has the potentiality of degrading the quality of service delivery by mobile networks in the affected areas. In a similar fashion, Interventions have also been carried out in Lagos in some residential estates in Lekki. The exercise saw the NCC enforcement team confiscating many booster devices from residents in some of the estates visited. Its negative effects can be profound. It is therefore worrisome that despite consistent and repeated efforts by the Commission to deter Nigerians from its usage, commercial states such as Kano, Anambra and Lagos have a high presence of boosters in major markets which affects network quality and experience of telecom users in the vicinity. It is in this light that the Nigerian Communications Commission is reminding the general public, particularly banks and other financial institutions, government agencies, telecommunications service providers, private and public companies, market associations and owners and occupiers of residential premises that the sale, installation and usage of GSM boosters is illegal. We will continue to go on uh, uh, monitoring and enforcement and compliance um, 
and where we find we confiscate them, we remove them. Um, but the the entire thing is we need support and cooperation of the community, the Nigerian citizen. They should understand this base station must is the lifeline of um, cellular network. Some communities don't allow these masts and towers be sited. And therefore, the issue of uh, infrastructure deficit. Where we need more, we don't have it. So that makes signal in some areas weak that will warrant you to look for, for, for booster. But if the community will cooperate with service providers, you know, allow them to improve infrastructure. In, in, in this instance, it's not only the community, but also state agencies, because we are having a lot of problem with state agencies, the issue of multiple taxation and multiple regulation, where they want to have approval to put more sites in order to improve quality of service in an area, but they are not getting it. Or where they get it, you know, they impose a lot of levies and tax that are not even, you know, it's not in any of our tax laws. You know, people just come up in the name of, you know, internally generated revenue, improving their own revenue. So bring in these, you know, um, multiple taxations and levies, you know. So those are the issues. If we can cooperate with the operators to improve infrastructure deploy deployment by state agencies given approval for siting of such infrastructures in communities and also the community cooperating with these service providers, you know, in carrying out maintenance and optimization and news deployment, this issue of uh, signal booster will, we can do away with it. This is in accordance with the provisions of Section 131, Subsection 1 of the Nigerian Communications Act 2003, and in exercise of its mandate of ensuring the protection of consumers, ensuring good quality of service, and maintenance of technical standards of equipment. Accordingly, monitoring mechanisms have been put in place and anyone caught using GSM Booster without obtaining approval of a duly licensed network operator will face arrest and prosecution. NCC therefore reiterates that it is a criminal offence to sell, install or use any equipment which may hinder network operations or which has not been type approved by the Commission. Such acts may lead to monetary sanctions and or imprisonment or both as well as the confiscation of any equipment used in the legal enhancement of network coverage. We have adopted what I may call a four-pronged attack uh, strategy. One is in terms of uh, sensitization to the Nigerian public, you know, by way of public notices. We are in, we've uh, tried to make them understand that it is illegal to use GSM booster. Uh, by virtue of the provisions of the law, try to make them understand the fact that it's, it is not in the overall best interest of us or the, the entire, entire Nigerians and the effect of that on a full network quality. That's one in terms of um, awareness, <clears throat> you know, through public notices. We've also done some stakeholder engagement and sensitization outside the public notices, you know, through TV or newspapers. Uh, most of our engagement events with stakeholders, we've taken some slots to speak to that issue and get to get them to understand the issues. Uh, we've also carried out uh, monitoring and enforcement. Some areas where we've, had, we've identified that these things have been put, like marketplaces, like banks, uh, we've tried through our monitoring framework, identify those spots, and through enforcement, get them uh, removed. You know, and in some cases, prosecute the people. Um, the final prong we've done is in terms of um, um, the engagement with telcos, you know, to identify those places where the signal quality is low, and you know, the need for them to do network optimizations, network expansions, to bridge those gaps. You know, so that's the fourth aspect we've been doing. And by the time we, uh, in collaboration with the telcos, go and address those areas and move those areas where there are illegal boosters, 
we get them to commit to the fact that they need to do something to improve on it. Because if, if you remove those bo illegal boosters and you don't improve on the quality of service, as you step back, yeah. they will still come and reinstall and you stay back to square one. The Commission, in line with its mandate, will continue to monitor, enforce and ensure compliance to stop this illegal act as well as facilitate the provision of ubiquitous telecoms infrastructure necessary to guarantee good quality of service and quality of experience across the country. The NCC hereby appeals to members of the public to be vigilant and contact the Commission if they are aware of or suspect the presence of illegal GSM boosters in their vicinity. To report illegal use of GSM boosters, please contact the Commission or send an email to cme at ncc.gov.ng. I heard about GSM booster, but I'm not into it. So I can't tell details about it. I can only tell what I'm selling. I have no experience much. So I cannot say much about that, because I've not come across it. So maybe in the future I might, but for now, I've not. I hope you have been informed and educated on the implications of using illegal boosters. If you're just joining us, once again, here are the answers to our running quiz and the winners. Question one, what is SVP? And the answer is strategic vision plan. Question two, how long is SVP valid for? Mention the years. The answer is five years, 2021 to 2025. Here are the winners of the quiz. Oluremi Ofakuri, Akure, Ondo State. Adewoye Akintayo Aremo, Oshobo, Oshun State. Bakare Aminat Mojirade, Ibadan, Oyo State. For further inquiries, send details to NCC Digital Signature at ncc.gov.ng for further information about the program. Have you linked your SIM to your NIN or NIN? Contact your service providers for information. For further details, visit the NCC website on www.ncc.gov.ng and the NIMC website on www.nimc.gov.ng. And that's it for this week. If you need further information about the NCC or this program, send your inquiries to NCC Digital Signature at ncc.gov.ng. Until next week, do not forget that NCC is your partner towards a connected Nigeria. On behalf of the Nigerian Communications Commission, thank you for watching NCC Digital Signature. I am Mimuna Ahoyza Zubair. Bye for now.